to a, another commentary done by Dickie. We are now in the round of four. On this side of the bracket, we have Nagmar going up against now Tagland, Nam, Vile Tomato. Vile Tomato starting in the upper left-hand corner as the purple Zerg immediately lifting off that command center and starting to float it out. We have, this is Overwatch. So infested Overwatch, bottom right-hand corner, we have Nagmar starting as the brown Zerg, or sorry, orange Zerg. This is actually going to be, I guess brown is technically correct. That's another conversation altogether that I won't get into in this commentary. But this is the first ZVC we've seen thus far. Immediately a drone being sent out for Vile Tomato. And is that for the purposes of capturing these command centers or just for the purposes of being annoying? Honestly, I think this is a brilliant play because there aren't infested command centers that are tagged in the midst. So it really was a race. Yeah, okay, so he has that one grabbed. Is he gonna go for the one to the north? And getting that supply lead and not having to build overlords in a ZVZ, that is huge. That is absolutely huge. That is the strategy to play on this map. So, and actually went, and keep in mind, he went and capped the uh, nearest one that his opponent could grab here with Nagmar. So brilliant play, and it looks like the slow overlord's gonna grab it, and he's immediately moving that drone back, getting his gas. He's not even bothering with spawning pool. Uh, same thing on the opposite side from Nagmar. Nagmar is dropping his own spawning pool, however. And maybe Nagmar can sneak back into this, but he's already at a deficit because he needs to produce overlords uh, down the line where Vile Tomato is not going to need. He's got 11 out of 49. He's sitting pretty for a very long period of time, and he can produce Infested Terrans at a forward location, which he's opting to do now. This drone making its way across to potentially get some scouting information. So maybe with some Zerglings, well played, they could run across and get something happening for Nagmar, but otherwise this is looking grim thus far. Drone sneaking across the ramp to go ahead and check out what's in the base. At the very least, uh, and I can't imagine he feels comfortable, because even a single Zerg, just even maybe if he does like a counter and just holds the ramp with his own Infested Terrans and finds a way to build back into this, uh, currently trying to hold his ramp with the drone to prevent these Infested Terrans from sneaking across, going to try to hold it, gets one shot but does not hold does manage to get the shot off, and that is a huge play right there to keep his hopes alive. Another drone making its way across. I'm curious what this play is. Or sorry, that's Nagmar's drone making its way back. There's not a second Infested Terran in position to deal with this. Now, Nagmar is going to have to delay mining time. Does get a good drone spread. So only two drones down. That actually evens up the supply count. Or I should say the worker count. However, the hatchery took a big hit in the midst of that. And there's more infested Terrans that are going to be on their way momentarily. Yeah, so let's see what Nagmar can get done. I think I might have missed another one in between there because there is another drone down. Two drones also, keep in mind, this is two drones holding the ramp where Vile Tomato is free to just continue mining uh, in the midst of this. And so this is, yeah, not looking good. I think I missed another infested Terran blowing up those two drones uh, on the ramp. Yeah, certainly. Uh, right there. Overlord still has eyes. Some Zerglings now trying to hold the ramp. More Infested Terrans making their way up. These Zerglings just walking by. I think they're going to see what they can get done at the main. That's opened up, allowing this Infested Terran to go ahead and walk on through. No defensive Infested Terran in place. The Zerglings trying to get us around, but they are too little too late. And landing there, taking out the hatchery. That's going to be GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to move on to game two between Vile Tomato and Nagmar, uh, at least on YouTube momentarily. I'm going to take a break overall. So you're going to see a significant shift in my voice between game one and game two. Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed it.